What is up guys, your boy Mickey, and I'm finally back with another video guys and yes we're working on the MX-5 so there's so much news and updates on the car I've literally just not been recording or doing any videos just because I just haven't had time, motivation but actually I have been recording, just haven't been editing at all I know I tried to edit once and then my computer just started messing up and I just literally just feel like pfft, I left it for around two months but guys the, it's honestly, when you get to a certain stage on the car, when you're working and any free time you have, you're literally just trying to smash out any any type of build, trying to fix stuff, trying to put stuff together and putting the engine back in the car and starting to like sand the car took forever. I can't express to you guys all the filler gaps you got to cover, all the bits you got to remove, trying to start the engine. And when you put the engine back together, if anyone's ever rebuilt engine or put a car together, you buy stuff, but shit still break. Like, guys, buy OEM parts. I can't express you guys as much. Like, I bought parts of eBay, um, Autodoc, um, Eurocar parts. And I'm not saying all the parts broke, but literally a good 20 or 30% of parts literally just went down the window. So, like, fuel pumps went, injectors, um, I know radiator went, like, so many different stuff that literally set us back. I know we had an issue with the gearbox as well, so guys, honestly, buy OVM parts. But yeah, we started sanding the car, engine was back in, sanding it. Right now, it's getting prepped to paint, and I have recorded all the steps of the way, but just need to find motivation and time to, you know, stop them all in the video, and I'm going to see how I can do that. But guys, in this video, we're literally sorting out the frame rails, cleaning up the engine bay, and I think we do paint the engine bay gold, if I'm not correct but yeah subscribe like guys and hopefully we can finish this bloody build quick update with the mx5 and the booties i think just about touching on the floor but we have loads of pieces of wood and the front is in the air so you guys are probably thinking what the hell are we doing why is the front in the air so there is a lot of welding which has to be done so like here all this here other side's really bad because holes there's a few holes down here as well so welding and to be honest just cleaning the whole car makes it easier when it's in the air so we're not all, we're not done yet we've just managed to put the car in the air and we're going to start putting all the support to make sure it doesn't move and make it safe but yeah when you ain't got a lift you got to do it any way you can so let's get it quick update on the car and my dad has finished pretty much welding all the chassis rail as you can see there's bits and the reason why we left it like that is just literally to strengthen it up then we'll grind it a bit more and uh, probably add a bit of filler and stuff just to make it look nice but the most important part is to make it look strong or for it to be strong for the jack and stuff we've done this part in here cleaned a bit and also i have um removed a lot of components from the engine bay like the air conditioning, the radiator, loads of other bits. I'm gonna to have to remove the headlights, uh, the clutch cables, and just a few other stuff. And pretty much a few bits and bobs so we can start cleaning pretty much all the rust and get it ready to be painted. On the right hand side, there was less rust and parts to be fixed. But um, let me see about it. Look, my dad fixed that part over there. It looks really, really good. And I think there's a little, little hole right in the back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the car back down and we're gonna sort out the little hole. But personally, we've done quite a lot today and um, making big progress on the Mark 1 MX-5. So guys, we're back in the driveway and right now we're just removing the fender. So there's three or four screws located up top. One in the middle of the door on the arch, one in front, and one or two below. So right now, this should pop right off, and just be careful with the remove the indicator cable. And then I can throw this to the side. <laughs> and this is, let's see, the rust. What, what do you think? It's dirty, it's clean. but not quick bad. clean, not too bad. We'll do the other side as well. I highly recommend if you guys are restoring your car, take off the arch, you know, take off as much as possible so you guys can clean it, paint it, and you'll have proof that you've done it. It's not too bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse. 
<laughs> but um, right now we're just sorting out the engine bay, you guys can see. We've added some primer on the arch. I've already primed it. I'm gonna paint all this in primer so we can start adding the under seal and its coats. Yeah, we can remove everything. So let's get it. So we've got good news. So we've got good news. What's the news, Dad? Go on. Another big hole in bloody car. We think the rust is finished and that's it. It's fucked up, no? I hope somebody moved the door or something. <laughs> Look at all this rust guys, honestly, we did not expect this and look Caputo So we removed the arch and we found more rust Well we're about to fix it now, well dad's about to get the world machine, sort that out And hopefully, um, that's the last bit of rust We're gonna also, I'm, I'm cleaning the arches, well the fenders I'm about to paint it with primer, remove the rust as well, a little bit of rust there. Just So before my dad welds the next piece, that is just a piece of metal he's going to put there. Because the inner and front is very rusty, so we just made a new space. And the car, so we put a little thick piece of metal to make it strong. Yes, yeah, so extra support, and then we're just going to make a piece for the bottom. But while he's been doing that, I've been painting the whole fender or inner fender and arch with primer and then the other side still exactly the same and this front um crash bar but now i'm gonna go underneath where the gearbox is and paint all of that in um thick anti-rust corrosion primer so let's get it <laughs> 